What's up, Gemini? Hi to you. I feel that high five is in order. I feel things have been successful somewhere in the Gemini life in the last week or so. Uh, if that's not you, well, fluid energy, guys, as I'm always saying, but that does mean it's coming to you somewhere along the line. Okay, so some tarot cards for Gemini. I've got a three card spread ready to happen. Let's just have a bit of a shuffle. I'm using uh, Tarot in Wonderland or uh, Wonderland in Tarot as my book uh, calls it. There we go. It's a great book actually and it's a great deck. Um, certainly very au fait and very true to, uh, in, in the most part anyway, to uh, the traditional Rider Waite deck and uh, even, you know, the, uh, the ancient decks going back before that. But uh, it's got this Alice in Wonderland twist to it and Alice through the looking glass as well. And uh, it really is very intuitive deck to work with, so I'm enjoying it. And I'm asking now for a three-card spread, please, for the sign of Gemini for the month of May 29. No, not for the month of May. What am I saying? For the new moon on the 4th of May 2019. Three cards for the new moon on the 4th of May 2019 for the sign of Gemini, please. That's three cards for Gemini. New moon, May 2019. Here we go. So... On. And, right okay and uh, first out we have the nine of swords waking up from a nightmare mm. and this is uh, I, I often think of this as what they call the long dark night of the soul uh, I think it's in the Christian Bible actually and sometimes it's called the night of the long knives which is a, a political thing actually but it was um, oh, lots of political leaders uh, suddenly lost their jobs. No one actually died of it, but but they all suddenly lost their jobs. Don't know what I'm talking about there because uh, this has very little to do with politics, as far as I can see. Who knows? As we go through the reading, but uh, the Nine of Swords there. Uh, this this suit has a lot to do with um, the well. I suppose they all do really, but the material and uh, and the spiritual coming together. And uh, to a great extent, that's what's been happening uh, in the White Rabbit's dreams here. Uh, but he's waking up, and this is like when you wake up thinking about a problem that you cannot fix um, and always trying to find a new solution to it. Well, maybe not that, maybe, uh, you know, just something, something that keeps you awake at night. Uh, maybe a dripping tap, you know. Uh, you've kind of got to work out where that drip is, otherwise there'll be water everywhere by morning and it plays on your mind. But actually, the last time that happened to me, it wasn't worth the worry. I'd, I'd put a new... I'd done some plumbing myself and it was a great success, but I'd never used this drain thing before and it made a dripping sound. It was all cool. So some things can be all cool, Gemini. Uh, OK, uh, fear not. Get out there and do something is the thing to do. And if you look at this character, what would you say to a human being you saw like that, you know, really waking up from a nightmare? Chess pieces all over the place showing that things are in disarray. Uh, the thing to do is something. It's better to light a candle uh, than it is to sit in darkness, Gemini. Okay, so that is the first of the three cards. Uh, moving along that now, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> and uh, this is a lovely homely card. It's a reminder of the homes that uh, gave us all life and nourished us in the first place. And uh, not everybody's home was like that, I know, but somewhere in life there have been people around us who've kind of brought us up into this world somehow. Uh, tried to get us through the childhood thing. There must have been, or else maybe we wouldn't have got through it. I don't know. But we've all got people looking out for us in the spirit world. We've all got ancestors around us constantly. And uh, this card is a reminder of that. Because uh, Alice is asleep there on this beautiful big uh, chair, which is more like a sofa, it's so big. And the white cat is asleep beside her as well. And you can see the portraits of all her ancestors looking down while she sleeps. Yeah, so there we go, the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, pentacles very much about spiritual and material coming together here, actually. So that, that theme has actually come out there. That is actually where we're headed. And oh, there's also a Ginger Tom in there as well. I didn't notice. Let's draw attention to that. Because cats are great. And why am I saying that now? Then That's a, a psychic thing come in, no doubt. Um, well, cats, you know, they, they, uh, they live and they respond to things in a way that we would never really understand, and yet we can get on with them perfectly well, physical and material, coming together, Gemini. Uh, be aware that as strange as these spiritual influences may seem, they are actually uplifting. They are actually going somewhere. Okay, so we move on now to uh, the, the third in this spread, 
And this is the nine of wands. Here we go. And uh, nine, you know, it's a high number at the suit. Uh, this this character has been on a long journey. Maybe this is you. Maybe this is someone around you guys. But I mean, you know, any of the uh, the suits are nearly always to do with people, uh, actual real world people being around, coming into our lives. Depends on you who you are, of course. Everybody uh, has a different take on this. And uh, I'm always saying it. I'll say it again. It's so important to remember that the uh, the main take on any kind of tarot spread, any reading you have really, is your take on it afterwards, the interpretation you put on it, okay? But we've got this character anyway, it's the Nine of Wands, and this says that um, when all's said and done, the journey of this new moon, Gemini, is going to bring you out at a place where you've got to make one last stand. Maybe just one last stand. Maybe it's over after this. Maybe it's all over by the shouting, Gemini. I hope it is for you. But there's a battle to be fought there. Not sure why this guy's got a saucepan on his head. Uh, I'll have to kind of contemplate that one a second before we go any further with that. But before I go any further with anything, my friends, um, I'm asking for subscribers at the moment. By the time you're watching this, this uh, wand, which was the uh, the April subscriber giveaway, will be on its way to its lucky winner, who I haven't drawn yet, but I will be getting round to that very soon. I record these in advance, you see. But by the time you see this uh, video, that will actually be on its way. Uh, the May subscriber giveaway is going to be this Sodalite necklace. It's an 18-inch Sodalite necklace. It's got a lobster clasp on it there. There, turn it around a bit and you can see. And some glass beads and some Tibetan silver just to sort of bling it up a bit and uh, kind of divide it into sections like that as well. Uh, so the energy isn't too heavy, but uh, so delight, a wonderful stone of connection in so many ways and uh, also a faithfulness, generally speaking, uh, with a certain amount of truth telling there as well, I feel. Uh, so there you go, get subscribing now guys and uh, you could win it. It's going to be given away at the end of May and uh, the reason for this, not least, well it's partly because I want to reach out to you guys, obviously that's that's really what this is all about and to say thank you for all the support you give me, uh, which I'll say again by the way, thank you for all the support you give me. Uh, the subscribers have shot up recently, but guys I need to get to a thousand subscribers to be able to go on live and do live psychic readings with Tarot and Oracle because uh, basically I'm a spiritualist medium and uh, I can't really do that using the the um, eBay, the YouTube comments and chats, things like that, unfortunately. Um, so when I get to a thousand subscribers, I can get back to doing that on my mobile phone, which had the chat on the front of it and everything. And, you know, that that's really what this channel is all about. I'm enjoying these tarot readings as well by Starsign, so I'm sure we'll keep those up. But please subscribe, guys, if you haven't yet. Give me a thumbs up as well if you like, but please subscribe because I need to get to a thousand subscribers. That way I can do so much more. If you do, tap the bell so you get all the notifications. Right, back into the reading. And the nine of wands there, that is a bit of a twist in the tail there, Gemini. Um, <clears throat> almost a Scorpio, a Scorpio, Scorpion-like twist in the tail, uh, really. So I'm going to say there's Scorpio energy around this. Um, and it, that is in the sense that the, the colours of the world can turn black and white. Um, a thing is or it isn't. There's no kind of middle ground. Uh, and it uh, looks like there's no middle ground with this character at the Nine of Swords here. Uh, but the potential is vast if we just get over this one last fight. This one last stand that's coming up. Okay, Gemini. So now let's do a Significator card. I'm going to use Kyle Gray, Keepers of the Light. There it is. Beautiful lady on the front there. Artwork on this by Lily Moses. Great name there. Okay, so shuffling away now and asking for a significator card from this oracle deck, please, for the reading we've done for the sign of Gemini in the month of May. <sighs> Lucky my guide knows what I mean. Asking for a significator card, please, from this deck for the sign of Taurus for the new moon on the 4th of May, 2019. Oh my God, knows exactly what I'm doing because uh, much of this is to do with him. And here we have oh, three cards. What are you going to do? Three cards. 
Well, there we go. They must be pretty basic. First one out, Green Tara. One of my favourites, actually. Absolutely beautiful soul is Green Tara. And uh, really worthy of contemplation. Google this card. Save the image and look at it as your screensaver, okay, Gemini? Because Green Tara brings great protection. Supreme protection, in fact. It says, you are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust, okay, so this is a big step with the nine of ones, and this is as we uh, as we go through kind of maybe the first sort of two weeks of May, really, is what I'm going to say there. We've also got White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit, and he's saying connect to your lineage, your family wound or pattern can be healed now. And uh, that's a reminder about another side to the Ten of Pentacles, which came out right in the middle of this reading, Gemini. Um, re-establishing old family connections might be a difficult thing to do but it might be just what you need to do maybe this is a link to old friends maybe it's even a link to an old love although i don't feel that's really where we're driving here but you know fluid energy many people watch these things and thanks everyone for watching and supporting by the way but remember the support of your ancestors you have many of them Okay, look at all these feathers. You have many, many ancestors in the spirit world looking out for you. And I don't believe it. It's come out again, the Shekinah. That's Aries, Taurus and Gemini all got the Shekinah this week. Um, what is that? I should remember by now, third time today. The sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. And in your case, Gemini, I'm going to say make spiritual practice on a regular basis and... <clears throat> Spiritual practice doesn't have to mean like kneeling down and praying or anything like that. It can be doing something that takes you out into nature. It can be, uh, I don't know, doing something around healthy eating, something like that. This is actually a new moon in Taurus, so it is a very earthy energy, uh, actually. So down to earth things, in, just in the nature of life generally, there is nature everywhere. And uh, you can link into it, Gemini. Okay, so as you wake up from the nightmare... Just remember how beautiful the world around you outside is. Uh, and we've got a reminder to remember our ancestors in particular and uh, to be ready to go forward knowing that we were loved and to give that love out. And the Ten of Pentacles looks pretty good for financial things, if you ask me. That's not all it means. That's a very sort of raw reading of what it means. But something good in the financial order of things there, I feel. As long as we remember the past, the lessons and the love of the past. The rest of the past is old news. But the lessons, the love and the people, the ancestors, because they never forget us. Uh, Nine of Wands. Once you've got there, there's a little bit further to go. A little bit more of the mountain to climb. Uh, this new moon isn't actually bringing you out the other side yet, Gemini. Maybe the full moon will. We will find out very soon. Uh, but that is just about it for Gemini for this time. Thank you again for watching, guys. Uh, thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And a big thumbs up to all of you from me for all the support you've given me. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, tap the bell to make sure you uh, don't miss any notifications and to have a chance of winning this Sodalite crystal chip necklace with a lobster clasp. Uh, leave me a comment, please, guys. It, it's great to read them. YouTube doesn't actually show them to me at the minute. Uh, there's another YouTuber I know who lives not far from here. Um, and he has got millions of views on his channel. He's really quite a big channel. Um, and he is having exactly the same thing. So it's obviously an across-the-board YouTube craziness thing. But there we go. Life is some, so often uh, is, is a YouTube craziness thing, is it not, Gemini? Have a great month. Peace out. I'll see you again very soon, probably next week. Bye.